What's up people on YouTube? Today I'll be showing you how to install a LGA1156 CPU and RAM onto your motherboard. So let's get started. So there's a few things you're going to need before starting this project. One is thermal paste. I prefer um, Arctic Silver 5. I just always used it. It seemed good for me and you will need some alcohol swabs to clean the processor and the heat sink and a card of some sorts doesn't matter what it is just something that you could spread thermal paste with so alright let's get started the first step that I like to do is install the CPU so how to do that would be to push down this lever and pull outwards until it, it clears it and then pull it up and then next you'll want to get your CPU and line it up there's little knobs right here and there and there's also a little triangle right there that you could find on the motherboard itself and then you'd want to line that up and put it inside they sh there should not be any in insertion force at all and you'd want to put this back put it down there's going to be a little bit of tension while you're putting this lever down but don't worry you're not going to break your motherboard the next thing you will want to do is to get your alcohol swab and clean off your CPU to get rid of all the oils off your hands and whatnot that could be on the CPU itself once you have that done what you're going to do you're going to get your Arctic Silver 5 and just put a dab on there. Like about, I don't know what you'd say, like a P shape? I mean, P sized amount. So you have done that, grab your card or whatever you're using to spread it. Just spread it across the board. don't worry about if you feel like it's not enough just spread it across see where it gets you and if it literally is not enough then you can always come back and add more just you don't want to be wasting it especially on the count like at Radio Shack a, a bottle of this thermal paste will cost you around 10 bucks you probably can get a little cheaper than that off of eBay or Amazon or places like that But yeah, the main idea is to try to save as much as possible. And plus, you wouldn't want too much thermal paste on your CPU anyways because it can cause temps to go up. Same goes for if you have too little, but if you can get it all across the CPU like this, I am almost definitely sure that you don't have too little. You have just a right amount so next what you'd want to do is get your heat sink and get another alcohol swab and also clean that off do not use the same alcohol swab that you used to clean the processor because you don't want to get that grime onto the heat sink so once you're done doing that you'll want to line up your heat sink with the motherboard and then these things on the sides they just pop right in just have to press down on them a little bit to get to work sometimes I have problems with this but I know sometimes it can be kinda hard but Put pressure and it should go through just not too much pressure though you don't want to break your board if there's a little bit of flexing it's okay it's not too much flexing and once you've done that you'll want to turn these knobs so then you lock um, your heat sink into place so then you don't need to worry about it coming out 
Then lastly, what you need to do with your CPU is over there, there's a connector that you connect your heat sink to the motherboard. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do on camera. There we go. Now, lastly, I'm going to show you how to install the RAM into your motherboard. What you'll want to do is look at the notch on the RAM and then onto the sockets that are on the motherboard. <laughs> then you see here, you see if the sockets all line up properly. Then once you see that, you press down and the clips will close automatically. And then also, what you'd want to do, if you're only installing two, two sticks of RAM, you'd want to keep them color coordinated. The blue with the blue, so then that way you channel the RAM properly. Then once you install other RAM sticks, besides the two, then you would want to use the other color. Either it be white or black or green or whatever color scheme your motherboard is going for. But there you go. You have your RAM, your CPU, and heatsink installed. So that's the end of my video. If you liked my video, please rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any suggestions for my next video, please leave it in the comments below or send me a message. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time.